Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebelica and um, I actually just recently got a green screen so I can actually set up uh, using a camera. So this is be my first uh, um, reaction video. I'm really excited about it. And um, uh, so this is a little bit after it played. I, I missed the beginning of it. So um, so let's uh, let's watch this. This is this is going to be fun. I can't wait to, to see this. So let's play this so we have grim drinking a coffee by broken window i'm actually really excited about the broken window i liked making abandoned buildings and haunted houses and things like that so and there's a crow over in the corner on the stand underneath it, a new candle um and i'm not sure if that's a new light new bookshelves new desk I'm fairly certain that's a new chair, new chair though. So, oh, and there was the, did the raven just disappear in a flash of light? Okay. Interesting. Oh, and I think that's a new floor too. Oh, somebody just walked by. I think they were like an assistant or something maybe. So that's kind of cool. So it looks like maybe we can get the uh, job as... Oh, the raven's back. Looks like maybe we can get a job then as a Grim Reaper. And then outside, it's kind of dark. I, I mean, I can see a roof of maybe another part of a building. But it's very it's very dark and cloudy and gloomy outside. Um, if this is a Grim career an active career maybe this is kind of like um like the hospital or like the the location where you actually would do your job so 30 seconds left oh there goes somebody else walking by as an assistant i think at least that's what i'm assuming is grim's assistant <laughs> Week 17 oh that crow is actually a little a little annoying. I have the volume turned off because I don't know if the music is uh, copyright or not. But the crow is 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 uh, crowing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Um, is this a festival? Definitely a new world. Someone's dressed up as a white crow. Okay. Oh, tarot cards. Okay. I think that's a new hairstyle too. New earrings as well. Oh, it's a little spirit. One of the little spirit things. Okay. He's in bed with everyone around him. Is that the spirit looking his body? Did he just die in his sleep? Okay. Okay, so this must be the new world. Oh, they have holes in the roofs too. Okay, funerals. I think those look like funeral sets up set up for funerals. Paying respects. Oh, great! This will be fun. New new uh, party for people to die at. <laughs> okay, getting centered, having a speech. Oh, a eulogy. A will. It looks like. And then fighting over the will, maybe? Okay, these are pictures. Oh, ghost of a... I think that was a ghost of a of a um, cow plant. Bucket list. This looks like the wishing well. Spend a day outside. Swimming. Have another worldly adventure. Oh, they're floating. And she's swimming in the... She just became a ghost. And there was bone fish in the, swimming in there. I wonder if that's like the uh, werewolves one where you could turn into a werewolf. And then uh, looks like working as a Grim Reaper. Definitely working as a Grim Reaper. Oh, they want to show Grim's face. Quit that job. <laughs> so it looks like it is a new job. Oh, uh, we have a baby there. Oh, is it her father? Okay. So she's thinking of her life with her father. Walking through graveyards. Oh, interesting. Lots of different types of graveyards. 
Music? Okay, I don't know. Uh, let's see. And then his ghost is leaving. Okay. Must, uh... Maybe they'll do something different than just culling them. Embrace with... Oh, is he being reborn? <gasps> Ooh. I'm going to have to play that part because that was Grim talking. And then these, I think, yeah, these are the uh, uh, the early purchase content. So music box and a mask. And I forget what the third one was, actually. All right, let's go back a bit. Hold on here. What was the third one? Lasting Legacy Family Portrait. I think there was, like, a com custom content that would let you do portraits like that. I wonder if that's the same. Okay. I'm going to slow this right down here. Uh, let's see. Playback speed. One quarter. And let's go back to the beginning. Here. Okay. All right. So let's take a look through this. At slow speed. And they're just people all talking on the square, I guess, um, by a, a festival. Oh, that's the Watcher symbol, the eye. If you played um, Sims Medieval, that was the symbol for for the, the, the Watcher. That's cool. So is that a Watcher festival? And that's definitely a new world. So that looks like a new costume of a albino crow, I think. A raven? What's the difference of a crow between a crow and a raven? There's a joke that says it's a matter of opinion, like opinion feather. Anyways, looks like the crow is attacking the, the guy and she's laughing. She thinks it's hilarious. And that's her father. And he's not feeling so good, it looks like. Okay. So then they have tarot cards. And hold on here in the back pause this there's in, in the back here we have the um what do you call them the spectrals from the uh um spirit spectral spirit things that you had in, in paranormal stuff and look at this wallpaper this actually looks a lot like the one from love struck so i wonder if they're gonna have another one in this one too that's similar um okay and these look like new new plants new planters very nice. And that's definitely a new table and chairs, obviously. So, okay, let's play again. So. Okay. Tarot. Uh, let's see. I don't think we have any earrings like this. Okay, does he say he wants to die? Or he's ready to die? I don't know. Looks like she's got a, a new watch, new ring. I really like her blouse. Okay, so family portraits. Oh, well, that's when she's little. Wait, she had mint hair when she was little. Does that mean that we're getting the colored hairs as t for children? I hope so. Okay, so there's a fireplace there. There's a large tarot card. The fireplace has this uh, skull behind it. Um, or above it. And that's also a new bed, I believe. Looks like a lot of heavy wooden furniture is coming with this. Okay, so the spirit seems to be leaving his body. That's that's different from uh, just dying of old age where you lie on the floor. <laughs> it's like, ah! <laughs> Everyone's sad. So I like the, uh, the little... Uh, um, icon for it, the little raven or crow. <laughs> I should just pick one name and stick with it. Crow, I guess. All right, so this world actually looks really neat. So this, is this one world or one neighborhood of the world? I don't know. But I love the holes in the roof. I'm so excited about that. Um, okay, Let's see, we've got a big fountain here. We've got a rock that looks like a face. That's interesting. Um, 
So these look like funeral setups. So let's... Oh, hold on. Go back just a second here. Well, that's too far. Okay. Close up of this. And got some, like, more rock walls and stuff. Okay, so over here we've got three different caskets sitting underneath this tree. Um, I mean, half of these buildings are probably just debug buildings. I don't know which ones are real or not. Uh, I don't know if we've got a little piece here that looks like a little window up above. I don't know. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go on to the next part here. And like the f okay, here we go. So we've got like a, a books here. We've got some of those same chairs. Uh, let's see. We got a covered coffin. Uh, this looks like a shelf, bookshelves that match, and a fireplace that matches. There's another one of those giant tarot cards. Um, and this is the wallpaper that they showed in the very very short preview with the uh, the ravens in front of the moon. Um. Actually, is it a moon or is it like an eclipse moon? There's a little trunk back here. Podium. And then we've got some uh, uh, couches here too. Torches. Oh, this is so exciting. So much stuff here. Oh, and there's an urn up here. Um, this is looking very exciting. All right. Let's keep going here. Get my nose off the little screen. Okay. Oh, and there's little flowers sitting on the tables too, I just noticed. And here's another one. We've got little cannons here for for confetti. Confetti cannons, like, um, growing together. This bench has a llama on the front of it. New chairs. Uh, we've got the, the candles and the little triangle thing here. This looks almost like a, um, like a gravestone, like a flat one. Oh, this is interesting. This is different than what I was expecting. Uh, we've got tables here. Again, there's a little fountain back here. Okay. And there's flowers too, like these uh, flower displays. Okay. Okay, this one looks like more like a like a funeral home type thing. We got a little... This looks like a little bar. Um, little podium. It's got some lights, some nice pictures. That looks like an arch. Is it like the gates... To the afterlife i don't know but we've got a lot more of these tarot cards around here too um okay and then there's a little bench here too new door these look like new windows as well new uh columns i want to tilt the screen so i can see if that's a um some other stuff that's new okay so I'm not sure if this is the new piano or not. I'd have to take take a look, but it's like a very standard piano. But anyways, here we go. Another coffin with flowers on top. Um, those are the new windows with the curtains attached to them. It looks like, but these ones don't aren't broken. So I don't know if that's maybe a different swatch or what. Okay, um, that looks like fun. And then there's like the rug along the, the walkway there. So lighting a candle. Oh, we've got scales here. Scales of uh, justice or something maybe. I don't know. We've got people reading books here. That's kind of an interesting thing to do at a funeral. Kids paying their respects. <laughs> Not exactly sure what they're doing there. Pouring out a flask of something. And then centering herself for the speech. For eulogy. Oh, she looks so sad. Okay. So then this is the will it looks like. And she's reading it to... I don't know if those are her siblings. And they're excited about getting money, it looks like. And I saw another tarot card in the background as well. Maybe they're not getting money. 
and they're mad and fighting with each other. <laughs> Okay, so then here we've got these portraits. Oh, you can hold the raven, it looks like. That's a very creepy looking tree. It looks very new. But look, look, she's got she's got the greenish hair as a kid. So I don't know and if uh if they're gonna have the 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 hair colors for kids, which I always have to uh, make that CC for myself because I hate that they don't have special colored hair. But I don't know. Um or it could just be dark with like green part of it. Okay, these are all new trees. Okay, finding the well of longing and regret. Okay. Um, is this a special lot? It's very creepy, very dark, very foggy. Um, that looks like a frog rog, frog log there. But uh this looks like a lot of trees with like Spanish moss on them. Okay going here undiscovered goals oh, that's interesting okay so she put in an offering to the well and what did we get not her father that's an angry child <laughs> okay so spend a day outside so we're at a, like a um, some sort of party. Is that a new bonfire? Swimming in a, in a lake? Have an otherworldly adventure? It's interesting that they're floating. I don't remember ever seeing that before. Okay, so we're at another lake. With some little torches at the entrance to the lake here. So she dives down. And comes back up as a ghost. So I'm not sure what to think about that. That I, I don't know. Scare the living. That's an interesting over here. We got the book on on a like a podium there. Reconnect with family. So I guess those are her siblings that she's trying to uh, reconnect with. Okay, we'll spin around and now we are a Grim Reaper. Ooh. Okay. So this must be the Grim Reaper, I don't know, uh, job site. That gate looks a lot like the uh, Realm of Magic one. Must be how you get from one place to another. Reaping spirits, I guess. And then trying to see Grimm's face, maybe? <laughs> and then it's all blocked out. That's kind of fun. So trying to find it. Quit that job. Okay, that's maybe too scary. No, can't see Grimm. All right, so we're back in the pond again, or pond, lake. Oh, okay, so she had brown hair as a child, as a baby. So maybe they don't have the colored hairs for children. But thinking about her life, that's a new swing set. That is definitely a new swing set. Okay. All right, so here we are again. Definitely new clothing with the uh, the feathered look around the collar. It's interesting. So that looks like a mausoleum of some sort. This looks like another type of graveyard. No ghost sign. And then here's another one. So there's mausoleums. There's different types of coffins, it looks like. And then there's the um, or crypt, crypts. Um, and then they have like the regular gravestones, but it looks like there's a lot more variety too. Okay, 
so so she's sad about her father and then he appears for her what did she call forth the spirit oh that's oh she's got like sad mascara and then he's leaving okay when the music stops here i'm gonna pause this and and uh let you hear Grim because that's pretty cool. Okay, and then he disappears. Okay, hold on. Let me change this back to normal. Let me turn on this. Okay. Strange. Thought he'd stay and master his ghostly powers. He did complete his unfinished business, though. Oh, well, back to work. Who's next? So, that's pretty crazy. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. All right. Well, um, so that's, that's my uh, first look at this. And it looks like we're getting a lot of fun stuff with this. Looks like we're getting funerals and job as a Grim Reaper, maybe. Um, new, new, um, new coffins, which is probably why there's one in the Reapers Rewards event. Uh, what else was there? Tarot cards, um, wills. Very exciting. All right. One thing I forgot to take a look at earlier is that there is a ac actually. Okay, this is Future Me. I was just about to finish um, editing my video and I realized I had forgotten that, that there was a blog post. So let's take a look at this. Um, so it says, Journey into the Great Unknown with The Sims 4 Life and Death Expansion Pack. Explore the, the beyond and reap the benefits of a life well lived. So... It's interesting. It looks like there's a new gnome here as well. Every ending means a new beginning, which begs the question, what awaits Sims in the beyond? This All Hallows' Eve, we invite you to uncover the secret to a fuller Sim life and explore what lies beyond with the Sims 4 Life and Death expansion pack. Venture into the haunting realm of Ravenwood, where three distinct neighborhoods await exploration, each with its own collection to the shadowy its own connection to the shadowy passage between life and what's next your sim will have the chance to craft a bucket list resolve lingering unfinished business in the afterlife wield new ghostly powers to unleash mayhem kindness or something in between or even undergo a rebirth Ooh. new haunts and netherworldly neighbors Allow us to welcome you to Ravenwood, where the veil between life and death is especially thin. Here you'll find three unique neighborhoods where sims walk shoulder to shoulder with ghost sims who have unfinished business. Begin your sims journey in Crow's Crossing, an eerie village rumored to be frequented by ghosts and regular hauntings. Venture down cobbled roads where you might discover local grave markers, meet the mysterious merchant peddling an assortment of curios and collectibles, or happen upon the Try before you die, casket sale. <laughs> Sims seeking solace can visit the town cemetery, dappled with headstones and graves, to pay respects to the Sims who once walked these roads, and may still be doing so, or disappear into a crypt to share a special moment with a lover or tell ghost stories. Okay, so it sounds like the crypt may be a uh, rabbit hole. With the Ravenwood... Family Day or Crow's Crossing Celebration of Life Festivals, Haunted Houses, and a Ghostly Guarded Wishing Well. There is plenty to explore. Ooh. For a slower pace, Sims can stroll the rolling hills and idyllic countryside of Whispering Glen. Steeped in ruins and rumors, it's a paradise for collectors and historians alike. Explore the local crypt, investigate the Tarot Tome Shrine at the base of the ruins, garden in the shared community plots, or gather collectibles. 
Whatever you do, stay until the moon rises. Each night, Whispering Glen hosts the local Moon Revelry Festival, where Sims can swim under the moonlight, share stories at a bonfire, and dance. Things get a little wild during the full moon, where clothing is entirely optional. All right. There's something otherworldly about Morning Vale, spelled like in morning, not not morning the time. <laughs> so, Morning Vale, okay. Maybe it's the way the wind howls through the moss-draped trees, the eerie clang from the bell tower at odd hours, or the sentient plants. No matter the reason, many ghosts choose to call this place home. The Grim Reaper has even been known to wander through now and then. Here, Sims can take a dip in the Baleful Bog to have an out-of-body experience or transition into rebirth. Partake in local customs at the Thin Festive Vale or make peace with their mortality at the Afterlife Anonymous meetup. Whatever happens, a trip to this neighborhood is sure to send a shiver down the spine. So we have, like, have another baby is, look like, checked off and help the living is checked off so okay the baby is like just comes from heaven <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> so the last part here uh was this the last part no the next part sims only live once right there's a lot to do in a sims lifetime and so little time keep track of everything sims want to do to live their life to the fullest with soul's journey an all-encompassing reward system uniting aspirations and wants. Oh, that's nice. A Sim's soul's journey allows them to achieve rewards as they fulfill goals, with the ultimate reward being the ability to rebirth a Sim with the special burning soul trait after their passing. Sims who are reborn after completing their soul's journey can unlock past childhood development skills, traits, and infant milestones, depending on the age they come back at. They might also find special ties to Sims from their past life. This is really going to change legacy uh, gameplay. Wow. <laughs> Players can also ensure Sims achieve fulfillment by creating and completing their bucket lists. There are multiple ways for any young adult or older Sim to create a bucket list. If left alone, a Sims bucket list will naturally populate over time based on their traits. There are also new interactions on the computer and journal which allow Sims to write a random goal themselves. Write a goal from a category like travel or family. Write a specific goal. Uh, completing a bucket list has powerful rewards including the ability to experience rebirth. As a ghost, Sims may also continue their soul's journey to complete their unfinished business which, if completed, will result in an even more powerful form or rebirth with the burning soul trait. For some Sims, leaving behind is hard to do. With the Sims 4 Life and Death expansion pack, Sims, sorry, players can let their Sims linger on as playable household members where they can wreak havoc on the living or lend a helping hand. Ghost Sims who build special connections with each other can also pair up for a special spectral woohoo inside objects of all shapes and sizes. So did everything just become a uh, a woohoo spot for ghosts? Wow. <laughs> As Sims adjust to their playable ghost... Okay, let's try this again. As Sims adjust to their playable ghost Sims form, they can customize their looks in Create a Sim, build ghost powers, and even earn fear or goodwill essences from their interactions with the living to make simoleons. Yes, there's still room to grow in the afterlife. Alright, Grimm's the boss. And I think this is going to talk about the, the new uh, career here. Sims looking for a new line of work can now dabble in death with two new careers. Two! Okay. The Reaper profession and the Undertake career. In the Reaper profession, Sims with an affinity for the afterlife can become Grim turns. <laughs> Someone had a lot of fun making up these uh, these names and work their way up to Reaper as they make a career out of facilitating the next phase of life for Sims. Work with Grimm at the Netherworld Department of Death, NWDD, and even head off into the field. Oh, the field. <laughs> Sims in this profession can experience Reaper training with the all-around good guy training dummy, 
Kenny maintain um, Grim Turn Sims Scythes, practice reaping souls on practice dummies, and determine causes of death for reaped souls. At higher levels, Sims in this career can even determine which souls they'll reap and which they'll return to life. Once retrieved, souls can be placed in the Netherworld portal to meet the soul quota. Grim turns who meet the soul quota are eligible to become Employee of the Month. Okay. The Undertaker career is a classic career in which Sims will serve both the living and the dead. From grave digging to embalming, Sims who pursue this career in the funeral industry ensure all Sims can move on in peace. Specializing in this before-afterlife care prepares Sims for difficult moments like discussing end-of-life services or contemplating existence. Six feet in, they will be rewarded with a plague mask, a Murphy membrane bust, or a corpus commendation plaque to honor their achievements. It has two branches that Sims can do go down, either mortician or funeral director. Interesting. Honoring the dearly departed. There is a lot in this. There's a, definitely a whole lot more than there was in Lovestruck. That's for sure. Okay. Mortality and, the un, un, mortality and the afterlife can now impact the way Sims interact with the world around them to help create unexpected and exciting stories. Experience the ghost historian aspiration. Unlock horror novels and receive the ghost whisperer reward trait. Visit any lot with the hallowed grounds lot trait. Try out any of our three new traits, Macabre, Chased by Death, and Skeptic. Delve into Thanat the okay. Delve into the Thanatology skill. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Or experience life and death's new death type. Death by murder of crows. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lifetime of stories to tell. Okay, if you didn't know, a group of crows is called a murder of crows. So, death by murder of crows. All right. <laughs> to prepare for the de their departure from the realm of the living, Sims can create a will at the town hall in Crow's Crossing via the computer or at the Family Day Festival. Through wills, Sims can assume heirlooms to, or sorry, Sims can assign heirlooms to specific individuals, leave personal notes, set emotional reactions for loved ones reading the will, specify how they want their remains to be handled, make funeral planning requests, and designate other Sims to care for their pets or children. If the entire household passes away, Sims can choose to donate their simoleons to charity or to another known household. Wills can be updated at any point in a Sim's lifetime. Losing someone is never easy, even for Sims. The Sims 4 Life and Death expansion pack now allows Sims to experience four grief types. Denial, holding it together, anger, and blues. The grief type a Sim receives is based off of their traits and, if applicable, their relationships. Grief will have its own set of behaviors for Sims to navigate, and it normally takes hold after the mourning period has ended. Not just death causes grief. Tough situations such as the loss of a family member or close friend, divorce, getting fired from a career, or the loss of a pet, if you have horse ranch or cats and dogs, can trigger grief. Sims experiencing grief can reach out for help from other Sims for comfort. They can also attend grief counseling. Sims can console about death to other Sims or cope positively with grief by doing creative or productive activities while the grieving while in the grieving process. When at a funeral, Sims can offer awkward sympathies or offer a sympathetic joke. Once Sims pass away, funeral events can be planned and held. When planning a funeral, players can choose which Sims attend and who the deceased is. Dressed in a sorry, select a dress code and color for guests to arrive in, pick from a variety of 14 different activities, and determine the location and time. So it sounds a lot like weddings and uh, uh, the new dates. Um, and let's see. 
weddings and the dates. I think those are the only ones that have those right now. But anyways, that's, I, I like that actually. I don't mind that they're reusing that for, for other types of events. Okay. Examples of some activities include giving a lighthearted eulogy, lighting candles, planting something, or serving food. Each funeral is unique and sometimes ghost sims may even appear at their own funeral. Sims can also honor the dearly departed by setting up memorial displays with a portrait of the deceased, selecting which urn or tombstone they want, decorating a gravesite, leaving them a message on a special memorial statue, or interning their urns in crypts. Okay. If okay, and this is talking about the uh um the what do you would call them? Uh the extra items you can get. So if you purchase the Life and Death Expansion Pack any time from October 3rd through December 12th, you can look upon those who came before in the Lasting Legacy Family Portrait, listen to the haunting lullaby of the Mournful Melodies Music Box, and masquerade in foul, like bird, foul finery in the Plumed Elegance Mask. Um... So, and it is, it's, I guess it's available for pre-order now. Okay. And I just want to take a look and see if it's actually showing up here in the store. I don't see it here yet on, um, in this page. Expansion bat packs, I don't see it on here either. It'll probably show up later. So this is my first look at the Life and Death Expansion Pack that's coming out on October 31st. I'm very excited for this. There's two new careers. There's a new aspiration, new traits. Um, there's a new event type. Uh, there's a lot of gameplay with creating wills and different types of grief and things like that. New ghost gameplay. The ghosts are being updated. Um, what else? Uh, on Twitter, they have said that... Uh, oh, first of all, on Twitter, they said it was a crow, not a raven. <laughs> um, and also that there is going to be a new lot type that can be put anywhere in any world, and that is the graveyard or cemetery. I'm not sure what it's going to be called. And... Uh, um, yeah, there's so much. It looks so much better than some of the more recent expansion packs. I am really looking forward to this one. Um, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like. And if you're new here, you can click on the subscribe and the little bell for notification of more videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.